Let's begin this hour with a new approach to a global problem. In our Earth 365 series, we focus on issues that affect our world year round. Today, we're focused on the confusion around recycling. Last year, the U.S. generated nearly 40 million tons of plastic waste, but only 5 to 6 percent of it was recycled, folks. That's partly because many of us struggle with what exactly can be recycled, especially when it comes to plastic bags and packaging. So Meg Oliver wrote along with a New Jersey pilot program that's helping residents get it right. Meg, help us out. Good morning. Good morning, Vlad. An overwhelming majority of Americans want to recycle. We often put items like plastic bags into bins, hoping they'll be recycled. But this so-called wish cycling can do more harm than good. Got that one? The first Wednesday of every month, starting at 7 a.m., six public utility workers canvas Red Bank, New Jersey, in search of white buckets full of plastic film. So how many miles do you cover when you're doing this? We do the whole town. Foreman Don Andrews says in just a few hours, his team collects enough to fill several trucks. Wow, that didn't take long for you to fill that up. Hard plastics like bottles and takeout containers can be recycled in curbside bins. Soft plastics like bags, wrap, and mailers most often cannot. The difference is often lost on well-intended consumers. I've always been into recycling very much, but I didn't realize the plastic film was a separate thing. This pilot program gives residents the convenience of curbside recycling through a separate plastic film pickup. In this town of nearly 13,000 people, hundreds are participating. Did you realize how much plastic film actually existed in your house? No, that's what I'm saying, and I'm an environmentalist. Red Bank Council President Kate Trigiano says the program appealed to the town's environmentally conscious population. It really is something that's so prevalent in our lives, and it's something that cannot be taken in the regular recycling stream. We followed the plastic from Red Bank to a recovery facility where recyclables are sorted and bundled for final processing. There, we saw household waste from other sources with bags mixed in with paper and cardboard, a big problem because plastic film will jam the machines. This stuff can be very detrimental to the system. It can wrap around uh, a lot of the shafts, a lot of the bearings. Operations manager Carlos Batista says he needs to shut down the facility for two hours every day to remove it. It could actually cause either fire or mechanical damage. The plastics industry keeps telling us, oh, we can recycle everything. So I've, I've created a collection, um, all these things that aren't recyclable, but yet they're labeled telling us they're recyclable. Jan Dell is fighting plastic pollution through her organization, The Last Beach Cleanup. She recently co-authored a report that claims only five to 6% of all plastic waste in the U.S. is actually recycled and particularly post-consumer plastic film, there's no evidence that any of that is getting recycled. It's just too hard to collect. It's all types of different plastics, and they can't be recycled together. Many product labels tell consumers they can recycle film at store drop-off locations, but Dell says the plastic collected at these sites is often so contaminated with other garbage, it can't be recovered and worse. So by putting all these, these recycle symbol on these things when they're actually not recycled and then confusing consumers to think they can just put them in the bin is really bad. We have inconsistent guidelines, lack of consumer education, and really a confusing process where most consumers don't know what goes in the bin. Joshua Baca is with the American Chemistry Council, which represents chemical and plastic manufacturers. He says the industry is working to ensure more plastic packaging can be remade into new products. Billions of dollars has been invested in advanced recycling technology. That is critical for recycling more of the film that we use today. And frankly, there is a huge demand for recycled material. But Dell says cost is a major hurdle towards realizing those goals. There just really aren't plastic processing factories in the U.S. who want to buy waste plastic and try to turn it into new plastic. Why? Because new plastic is so cheap. This is probably at best a B grade film. Weeks after our visit, the plastic film from Red Bank was still waiting for a processor to accept it and use it to make a new product. It's a critical step on the road from waste to recycled.
Our systems have not caught up with our desire to recycle. Until they do, if you want to do right by the environment, do not mix plastic film in the bin with other recyclables. Unless you've got a program like Red Banks, it's better to take it to a store drop-off site or just throw it away. We were a little disappointed. We wanted to see this program go full circle from yeah. pickup to the processor, but as you saw, it's still sitting there. It will eventually get picked up. Recycling is so complicated. Mm -hmm. uh, you need like a law degree and a PhD in hieroglyphics <laughs> to read the can and then you ever go to the you, you, you know, like a piece of trash and exactly. you show up and then they have three holes yes. and like I don't know where do you go? Like, but I think it's yes. people want to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. I think that's the message. I agree with people you. People want on to that. do the right yeah. thing and they attempt to do the right thing, but it is very confusing. Sometimes you look at the bottom. Who can remember what the numbers right. mean? And, and it's a weekly thing. I mean, honestly, I've given up on. I, I, I try to recycle the big things, but I, as a solution for our big problems in this country, I've uh -huh. given up on it. The best approach is to try to buy glassware that you can reuse right. rather than recycle. Reuse is the thing that I think is more valuable at the moment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Meg Oliver, we thank you. Always good to have you here. I should say, I covered this three years three ago. Three years well, ago. Yeah, yeah. Like, and how much has changed? From this? Not a lot. Not a lot, yeah. <laughs> it was a good story, too. And, and therein lies the problems. Right.